Stanford professor Baba Shiv once said, failure is the mother of innovation. And of all people, we think the company SpaceX knows this the most. As the leading firm in space exploration, design, and manufacture, they've seen their fair share of disappointments that led to their success. For today's video, we'll be looking at every SpaceX Starship explosion and what Elon Musk and the team learned from them. So keep watching today's video for more. Without further ado, let's examine each explosion of a SpaceX Starship and what Elon Musk and his crew were able to learn from them. The creation of spacecraft is a dangerous and occasionally explosive endeavor. An illustration of that is the Starship spacecraft prototype from SpaceX. The future Moon and Mars missions entirely reusable launch system is no stranger to explosions, ruptures, and unsuccessful landings. A large portion of these failures occurred only because Starship is a new system, attempting unusual things. Watch today's video to discover more about each Starship failure and the lessons learned. First, there's that tank rupture of Starship SN1 in SpaceX's pressure test. In a pressure test on February 28, 2020, at its launch pad at Boca Chica, Texas, SpaceX's SN1 prototype broke apart. Prototype was testing the liquid nitrogen pressure at the time. The prototype's middle came apart, then flew upward before crashing to the ground. In a series of tweets sent out soon after the explosion, company founder Elon Musk seemed to be taking the incident in stride and planning to reinforce SN2. So, how was your night? Musk wrote on Twitter, which accompanied a video of the prototype's death. This was followed by, it's fine, we'll just buff it out. And then another tweet that read, Where's flex tape when you need it? Next, there's also the time Starship SN3 broke apart during one of the company's test runs. Even though the SN2 test item was fine, the next cryogenic pressure test for the prototype Starship SN3 did not proceed as expected either. On April 2, 2020, the prototype tank of the Starship SN3 exploded. The purpose of SN3 was to demonstrate its ability to endure the high pressure of the extremely cold fuel that is loaded before launch. Musk noted that SN3 had passed a test involving ambient temperature the previous evening in a tweet. Musk suggested that it might have been a test configuration error and that they will wait to see what the data review indicates in the morning. Musk revealed in a subsequent post that several valves had leaked at cryo temperature and that they are now repairing the problem and would soon retest. Moving forward, there's also the time Starship SN4 exploded after one of their engine tests. Starship SN4, SpaceX's subsequent prototype, exploded in a massive explosion on May 20. 29th, 2020, just after a rocket engine test. Only a minute had passed since a quick test of its Raptor rocket engine when the dramatic failure occurred, but right away it wasn't clear what had sparked the fire. Musk insisted that the business keeps improving with each test and moving forward, just like with previous explosions. Despite this, the Starship SN4 was at the time the Starship prototype that had been tested the most and lived the longest. Before blowing up, SN4 withstood five static fire engine tests. And then this next one is when SpaceX deliberately blew up Starship SN7's tank. SpaceX created the SN5 and SN6 prototypes after the loss of Starship SN4 before going on to SN7, which the corporation purposefully allowed to fail. Although this failure was expected, the Starship SN7 prototype tank exploded on June 23, 2020 during a pressure test. Just a week prior, SN7 completed another pressure test that resulted in a leak. The second test was even more impressive given the anticipated explosion. Musk stated in remarks on June 15, 2020, that the SN7 Starship tank's initial test, which leaked but did not explode, was encouraging for the program's advancement. Afterward, he stated that the business is switching from 301 to 304L stainless steel. Next up, the company also witnessed the Starship SN8 crash in a fireball landing. On December 9, 2020, the SN8 prototype performed a remarkable flight, accomplishing several goals before struggling to land and exploding in a flame. Using its three Raptor engines, the prototype was propelled to a height of around 7.8 miles, 12.5 kilometers. The rocket's engines were turned off as it reached its highest point, and it belly flopped to glide down to the launch pad. However, the rocket landed too quickly because of lower than anticipated fuel tank header pressure after firing its engines one more time before impact to try an upright landing. Then, in Starship SN9, the spacecraft managed to fly for a bit but eventually fell down hard. On February 2, 2021, SpaceX's Starship SN9 was able to ascend higher than SN8 before its own cataclysmic explosion upon landing. To replicate re-entry into Earth's atmosphere, it performed a challenging horizontal flip after it reached its goal altitude of around 6.2 miles, 10 kilometers. After 
1.5 minutes of flight, it impacted the landing spot too hard, coming to a disastrous conclusion. They'll simply work on that landing a little bit, SpaceX Principal Integration Engineer John Insprucker stated during SpaceX's launch live stream. The major goal, to show control of the vehicle in the subsonic re-entry, appeared to be quite successful, and they will learn a lot from that. He continued, adding that they obtained a lot of useful data. Next, Starship SN10 showed a bit of improvement from the previous one since it managed to touch land, only to explode a moment later. The prototype Starship SN10 outperformed its predecessor, the SN9, by reaching its intended height of 6.2 miles, 10 kilometers, on March 7, 2021, doing a horizontal re-entry flip and then landing safely. Sadly, immediately after landing, flames could be seen near SN10's base, and the vehicle quickly caught fire on the launch pad. Musk then claimed on Twitter that the spacecraft had landed a little too quickly due to insufficient thrust, which was probably brought on by a problem with the fuel header tank. The landing system's legs and a portion of the engine skirt were crushed during the forceful touchdown. A few minutes later, the explosion happened as a result of the damage. Moving on to Starship SN11, unfortunately, this spacecraft crashed during the landing. SpaceX's Starship SN11 launched on March 30th, 2021 amidst dense fog, only to suffer the same demise as its SN10 predecessor. Starship SN11, like SN10, went to a height of 6.2 miles, 10 kilometers, before coming back to Earth to attempt a landing. The aircraft's onboard camera stopped working after six minutes. It appears to have blown up above the landing pad before returning to Earth. Elon Musk later claimed that issue number two on the Starship SN11's three Raptor engines occurred during ascent and grew worse when it was reignited for the landing burn. Musk tweeted at the time, something significant happened shortly after landing burn started. Should know what it was once we can examine the bits later today. SpaceX temporarily stopped launching after the Starship SN11 disaster as it went through additional upgrades. Then, a breakthrough. Finally, after many trials and errors, SpaceX witnessed their first success when Starship SN15 survives launch and landing. SpaceX achieved a Starship victory on May 5, 2021, when the Starship SN15 prototype successfully launched, touched down, and ejected without exploding. On the 60th anniversary of the launch of Alan Shepard, the first American in space, the test flight demonstrated all the lessons SpaceX had discovered up to that time while creating Starship, specifically a new upgraded avionics suite, updated propellant architecture in the aft skirt, and a new Raptor engine design and configuration are some of the improvements made to the SN15 that will allow for greater speed and efficiency throughout production and flight, according to representatives of SpaceX. Since then, SpaceX has turned its attention to additional Starship prototypes and its super heavy rocket as it pursues the possibility of an orbital mission. The world's tallest rocket was created in August 2021, when SpaceX for the first time stacked its Starship SN20 atop a Super Heavy. In other related news, SpaceX just launched 52 Starlink satellites and landed a rocket on a ship in the Pacific. Just hours after flying NASA astronauts onto the International Space Station, SpaceX launched 52 more of its Starlink internet satellites into orbit on October 5th. At 7.10 p.m. on Wednesday, Day, a Falcon 9 rocket carrying the Starlink satellites launched from the Vandenberg Space Force Base in California, EDT 2310 GMT, 410 p.m. local California time. 8.5 minutes after launch, the Falcon 9's first stage returned to Earth and touched down precisely on the SpaceX drone ship Of Course I Still Love You, which was positioned in the Pacific Ocean. According to a SpaceX mission description, this specific booster had performed five liftoffs and landings. The rocket has aided in the launch of American missions NROL-85 and NROL-87 in the past, National Reconnaissance Office, the German government's SARA-1 radar satellite, and yet another Starlink batch. The upper stage of the Falcon 9 continued to accelerate into orbit as the first stage approached its landing. About 62 minutes after liftoff, the 52 Starlink satellites were successfully deployed, SpaceX announced on Twitter. And that wraps up today's video about SpaceX. What project of this popular space company are you looking forward to the most? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Thanks for watching today's video and before you go, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on for more videos like these. We'll see you again next time.